Well, hello again. Lenny Schneider here. Uh, we've got a lot of news. This has been a really busy week. Finally, all this work that's been going on for like a year is coming together. The next banjo replica, the 1880 replica, but very exact copy of this one, which is the real thing, uh, it, it's going to be done. We're working on it right now, and it's going to be beautiful, all silver plated. All the, the, the metalwork, polished silver, it's going to be incredible. And, and it's going to have a, spe a canvas case similar to the original, but it's going to have a logo, like a, a, an embroidered, hand embroidered signature of Teresa Vaughan and Buckby's signature on there. And it's going to have like a, it'll be like a canvas, like a glove, it'll fit right on it. And it'll be like a red velvet inside. I mean, it's going to be really pretty, pretty nice. And anyhow, uh, the Buckby is a remarkable banjo. I've been experimenting with it. There's so many things you can do. You can go forward and backward in time. From like, if you go back, you know, to Teresa's time, you know, she was born in the 1862, 1863. You go back, you know, 60 years or so before her, you had people like Beethoven writing the Moonlight Sonata, you know, and Beethoven, he lived about, he, he was in Bonn, Germany, which is about 290 miles away from Bavaria, where Teresa, uh, where her ancestry came from, anyhow, she was born here. But anyhow, it, 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 it occurred to me very often that there's a good chance that she was familiar with the, moon, the Moonlight Sonata, you know, piano uh, uh, Sonata 14 by Beethoven, the Moonlight Sonata. And it's it's like it's like falling. It's like dropping something and it falls. I mean, it's so easy. It just fits. It just falls right onto the banjo. Let me show you what I mean. It's I'll, I'll play a little bit of it, and it's very interesting. And you get all kinds of effects. The Moonlight Sonata. Here goes. Some interesting effects that sound like underwater. It's nice, like. style.
it's a very expressive instrument. And by the way, I just replaced the nut, which used to be, originally I had made for a replacement of bone. And I, I decided to use an ebony, you can hardly see it. But it really, it makes the instrument feel really serious, you know. It's a, it, it, and it's, it's kind of easy to work, easier to work it than bone. And it, it just, I think it, it doesn't hurt the sound. In some ways it helps. It's interesting. Uh, anyhow, the, the new replicas are probably, some of them will probably have the uh, ebony bridge and others will have bone dependent. A lot depends on who's, who, who wants it, you know. Anyhow, uh, but there's some more videos will be coming and uh, it's amazing. Like I say, you can go back and forwards in time and like up to the, there's been a lot of stuff, you know, here and there that sounds interesting and, and I'll try to, I've shot, I had some videos before but I thought they needed to be redone. Some of them were done like a long time ago. Anyhow, and uh, so there'll be some of the more things from the, you know, more work on Cinderella which is phenomenal, of oh, Rogers and Hammerstein, and it just really fits with this really perfectly well. Very nice, and, uh, and some other things. So uh, stay tuned, and there'll be some videos coming to show the new silver-plated buckbees soon. Well, I hope you enjoy this stuff, and let me know if you have any comments or, uh, you know, it, 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 questions or whatever. Okay, have a good one. Bye.